Hey folks, welcome back to Todd Bosley's world famous YouTube channel. This is a bag of dimes. Now this is a very heavy bag of dimes. It weighs almost 60 pounds. I'm guesstimating that there's approximately $1,000 of dimes in this bag. I'm, I'm thinking they're dimes. You can see, if you look, you can definitely see the outline of a dime. It's not that big. Here's my information. I am Todd Bosley, uh, Ohio Trading Coin and Jewelry. We buy and sell daily. But tonight, we're going to open this bag. Now, this bag's been sealed up for a while. Kind of give you a little rundown here of it. It does have a serial number on it. Now, I wasn't able to reference what that serial number means for sure. And if any of you know, if you could let me know, I would appreciate it. Uh, I, I in a kind of in a way, I took the uh, the seller's word that this is silver. So I am hoping these are silver dimes. I'm hoping they're mercury dimes, or even better, if they were barbers. Uh, more than likely, though, they're probably just going to be Roosevelt dimes. That's probably what we're going to be dealing with. And to put this bag in perspective, it's worth somewhere between eighteen to twenty thousand dollars in today's value, as long as it's silver dimes. Um, so I'm really hoping that's the case. But you can see, you can see how heavy it is. Like I said, it weighs almost sixty pounds. So it's it's a lot to pick up. Okay, well, without any further ado, let's open it up and see what we have. Now, this is the first time I've ever opened a bag this big. I've opened smaller bags, but nothing that was, you know, a thousand dollars or so worth of material. Okay. Well, this isn't going to be that easy. Okay, there it is. It's off. And that's the serial number, 2602965. You can see the seal that was on it. And here we go. I'm going to reach in. I'm going to grab a handful. Oh, please let these be. Please let these be mercury dimes. Hold on. Hey, look at that. There is a mercury dime. Actually, this looks like this looks like a mixed lot. Now, it does look like a lot of these are, well, there's a Mercury for sure. There's a 1963. All right, let's get another handful and see. So I'm seeing three or four Mercury dimes so far. There's more Mercury dimes. Oh, wow. So definitely the majority is... Yeah, most of these are Roosevelt. Let's see what another another handful brings out. Now, I know this bag's been sealed for several years. And Mercury Dimes are kind of just now catching on. Okay, hold on. What's this? Okay, that is a Mercury. Well, the good part is they're all silver. You can tell by the sound you hear that they are silver. And it's good that we do have some mercury dimes in there. Let's see what what another handful brings. Ruh -ro. Well, that's not good. So we definitely got a Canadian in here. So that's not so fun. I wonder if they just missed that or if the bag is laced with Canadian. As you know, Canadian is not worth as much as the American silver is. The Mercury's are typically worth a little bit more. So hopefully they'll bounce out. But I definitely would not want to see many Canadians in here. That would not make it a very good deal. Okay, so now we're praying for no Canadians. And some of the Mercury Dimes I'm seeing in here, they look pretty good. But some of them look like they've probably been cleaned also. But the majority is Roosevelt Dimes. So, this is kind of what happens when you buy it sight unseen. Um, this, was a, this was a fairly large estate that I bought, though. And frankly, there just wasn't time. And 
my customer was a very honorable customer, I could tell. Yeah, and, uh, it, you know, we kind of just made an agreement ahead of time. If there was an issue, I would give him a call. Uh, but so far, I don't see any issues, really. I mean, the fact that I found one Canadian dime out of all of these, and these all look real nice. Definitely can tell they're silver. Silver has a very special sound to it. And if you have regular change in one piece of silver, you usually can tell what that is. All right, let's see. No more Canadian. These all look like they're just Roosevelt's. It would be nice, though, to find some Barber Dimes in here. So far, this is our only bad one. It's Canadian, and it's still worth something. Don't get me wrong, but uh, if you bought a bag like this and it was all Canadian... And you bought it based on thinking it was not, or it was American. Um, that would not be a good thing. You would lose some money. Because as coin dealers, we work on very small percentages. And if you're a coin dealer and you're watching this, you know that. Uh, I mean, most days you're lucky if you can make 5 to 7% on any of the deals. It's, it's very slim. Uh, there's such competition that you have you have to be fair. You have to pay good. Or you just won't be in business. So there's a couple Mercury's right there. Together. And there's another one. I mean, it doesn't look like there are any key dates or anything. But they definitely are, all, are silver. Let's kind of look down in this bag and see maybe what it looks like inside. Kind of roll it down. This is a big bag of coins here though. Okay, let me get the camera over here and let's see what you think. So there it is. There's more Mercury's, so that's good. Mercury's, you can get a little bit of premium out of them. Not a lot. Uh, dimes in general, though, probably are not everyone's favorite. For sure, half dollars. If you're buying 90% silver, that's what most people want. I'm going to take a few out here, and we're going to see what we have. It does look like there's a fair amount of Mercury dimes here, though. I got I to gotta like that. Um, so that's good news. 90% uh, though, it really, if you ask me, it would go half dollar, quarter, and then dime. And the, like the nickels, the um, silver nickels from the wartime, those are, those are just kind of hard to sell. I know that they're a little bit harder to melt. Uh, people buy them, but they're not necessarily that many fans of them. So this is mostly Roosevelt's in this bag. So what I'm going to do with this bag then is I'll get in and I'll break them down into smaller bags. We'll probably sell these. We'll sell some $10, $10 bags. So $10 face, if it's $10 face and you're selling it about 20 times face value, so that would make you know each bag around $20, or I'm sorry, $200 for a face value of 10 So I think right now the premium is somewhere around 17 or 18 for the actual melt value. But 90% or junk silver, as they call it, always brings a premium. Uh, especially when prices are low like this because people know it's going to go up. So uh, usually you have no trouble being able to uh, get 20 times face value out of it. And actually, most dealers will pay well above uh, melt uh, to get the stuff just because when it's low like this, it's just so hard. Uh, to not to just pay the melt value it usually goes up but yeah this was a nice find here so i got i've got a thousand dollars in face value of dimes or more uh, and i definitely have one canadian which is not so good but yeah this is uh this will be a fun little bag to go through i'm not sure that i'm going to take the time and separate the mercury's from uh, the roosevelt's that would just be a pretty much a big time suck so if you're a customer of Ohio Trading Coin and Jewelry, you'll be getting some Mercury Dimes. Here's my information just one more time so you can see it. We buy and sell daily. I pay very fairly. I'd love to work with you if you're interested. Um, this is just a, this is a good thing to put your money into. Junk silver, I've always been a fan of it. And I always will be. This is part of our history and it's 
when the government actually used to make a coin that was worth collecting. Not that they don't now. Um, I don't know. I think I just saw another Canadian. I hope I did not. Well, maybe that was... That was just maybe me being paranoid. But anyhow, we know that there's not many Canadians in here from what we've seen so far. So as long as that holds good, we'll be in good shape. I'm getting a pretty big pile. You can hear them hitting the floor here. All right, folks. Well, there it is. $1,000 bag of dimes. All silver. Uh, pretty heavy to carry. Not a lot of fun. Uh, but we have it available. So if you're interested in 90% silver coin, junk silver, we have it in stock. I also, right now, I have a good amount of half dollars. And I have a good amount of uh, quarters. I have a lot of uh, BU quarters, uh, uncirculated, real nice rolls. And I do have some rolls of silver dollars that have not been circulated also that came out of this collection. So if you're interested, give us a call. I'm Todd Bosley. You can reach me. This is my personal cell phone. So you can get me, uh, you can call or you can text 330-323-9775. Let me know what you're interested in. Or let me know if you have something to sell. I'd be happy to do a deal with you. Thanks for watching and have a great night, folks. Bye-bye.